To God be the glory, great things he has done. So loving that world that he gave us his son to yield. Let's be strong together, please. Atonement for sin and hope on the life gave that home may go in. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Hallelujah. Just wave your hands to him this morning and honor him. Lift up your voice for a few seconds and just say something to this faithful father. We lift you eye, O God. For there is no like God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We'll lift you eye for you are good. Most 
beautiful among thousands, yes, Lord. And my beloved is my bill. Among thousands, yes, you are.
lift up your voice and bless them this morning.
voices and begin to appreciate this great God. It's the great I am that I am. Let us confess like David confessed. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. I want you to despise any report, any contrary report. I need you to hold on to God and be glad. Oh, announce your presence in the house of the Lord this morning. Father, I am glad to be in your house. I am grateful to be in your house. I am thankful that I'm in the house of the Lord. I am not at the joint. I am not in the mortuary. A living dog is better than a dead lion. I have come over thanksgiving and praise and worship to you. For you are the great king to rule in the affairs of men. Oh, thank you, Father. Heaven is your throne. The heart is a push. On this bow in worship. On this bow in surrenderedness. I join the host of heaven to say thank you this morning. We say, Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. We be praying from Revelation chapter 3, verses 7 to 9. It's the word of the Lord to the church in Philadelphia, and I believe that word is apt. That word is the same God is saying to us this morning. God said, I know your works. God took cognizance of the works. Hallelujah. I'm going to begin to pray. Lord, let heaven beam satellite upon our seed. Because the seed will not die. And Jesus said, whatsoever anyone has given, for my kingdom, say, whatever it is, you will receive a hundredfold now in this time and in the everlasting life. I need you to prophesy. I need you to declare over every seed by anyone from our Father in the Lord to the least person here. Every seed of time, every seed in the world, every seed in prayer, every seed of money, let heaven know. Let heaven be a satellite. Let there be a reward in the name of Jesus. For he has not asked the sons of Jacob to seek him in vain. Father, we thank you and we bless your name this morning. As we gather on this Monday, you said you know our work, sir. You know the time we have spent in prayer. You take cognizance of our gathering together to worship. You take cognizance of seed to rescue this sanctuary. You take cognizance of effort made by men. Lord, Father, we pray. Let heaven be a satellite upon our seed for a harvest. Let heaven be a satellite upon our seed for a visitation. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord. Heaven will visit our seed. And there shall be a hundredfold reward. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He said, I know you have little strength. You don't have the ability to open the door that you should enter. But he said, he that has the keys of David, we open. I will open the door. Let's begin to pray this morning. Every short door that leads to our covenant blessing, that leads to peace, that leads to our breakthrough, the little of financial liberty as a people, as a church, we command them open in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Let the door of ministry open. Let the door of favor open. Let the door of finances open. Let the door of divine head open. Let the door of peace open. Let the door of breakthrough open. Let the door of signs and wonders, miracles begin to open to us in the name of Jesus as a corporate entity, as a church of Jesus Christ. We cause the door to open up. We cause the door to open. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. May ye lifted up your everlasting door. For the sons of the King of glory has come. That is our portion. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And he also said, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Which says they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before your feet and to know that I have loved you. Hallelujah. Every synagogue of Satan represents anything that opposes God, anything that denies us from fulfilling the mandate of heaven. Anyone that attempts to take this church, it is an entity of the synagogue of Satan. And the Bible says they will come power down to us. He said, I will bruise. Satan shut under your feet. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. 
anything that stands as synagogue of Satan, every order raised against this ministry, we cause them to bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that opposes the mandate of heaven in this house, in our lives, let them bow, oh God. Oh, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we cause them to bow. We cause them to bow. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Finally, he said, because I have loved thee. When God was going to validate the sonship of Jesus, he said, behold, my son, you whom I am well pleased. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray, Lord, validate the ministry of Pastor David DJ. Validate, or go on account of your law. Validate your people. Let there be a sign from heaven. Validate us in the name of Jesus. Establish this house, oh, as a city upon the mountain top that cannot be moved. We are on Mount Zion. We cannot be moved. We declare and decree in the name of Jesus. Validate. Validate, oh God, the ministry of your son, Pastor David DJ. Validate our worship of Jehovah God on this Monday. In Jesus' mighty name. Good morning, church. You are welcome to today's special service. This is our CCG River of Life Church, where the supernatural is our natural. Please listen to the following announcements. Days of our meetings are as follow. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays are our prayer meeting days, and they are now on Zoom. The meeting ID is 979-029-8065, and the passcode is intercede. Time is 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Please join the Interactive Faith Clinic every Thursday. Time is 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Vigil holds every Friday on our YouTube channel as well as the church website and Facebook. Time is 10 p.m. Mothers Connect holds every Saturday on Zoom as well as Facebook Live. And the meeting ID is 823-2511-4925. And the passcode is intercede. This prayer meeting is packaged to meet the spiritual needs of every woman. Time is 8 a.m. Children and preteens hold their service in church by 9 a.m. prompt. Children from 2 to 5 years old and 6 to 9 years old hold their classes at the upper level, while children 10 to 12 hold their classes at the lower level. Parents, please encourage your children to attend their classes. Teenager service also holds every Sunday at the upper level, and all teenagers are encouraged to attend. Brethren, please take note that House Fellowship holds every Sunday by 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. prompt, with the exception of the first Sundays of the month at the various locations as shown on the screen. Please locate the location closest to you and attend, and God bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Workers' meeting holds every second Sunday of the month after service. All workers are to attend. Please note that this meeting is mandatory for all workers. The next edition of the Holy Ghost service will be holding this Friday, October 27th, 2023, by 7 p.m. Come and experience the power of God. Please invite your family, your friends, your neighbors, and your well-wishers, and please share on social media, and God will bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. This is a notice to all the grandparents. Please wait immediately after service for an emergency meeting at the upper level. Again, this is a notice to all the grandparents. Please wait immediately after the service for an emergency meeting at the upper level. Conquering the Spirit of Limitation is a book written by our Father in the Lord, Pastor David E.J. Please see any of the ushers and pick a copy for $10 only. Please be reminded to switch off or silence your phones and devices while in the auditorium. Let us reverence the Holy Spirit. Attention brethren, please take note of the following information. Every last Sunday of each month, two new events have been added and have been taken into effect moving forward. First, every last Sunday of the month will be services of empowerment, during which presentations are made by business owners and entrepreneurs, sharing experiences and tips. Second, these Sundays are Dress Down Sundays. Next, transportation services are now available. Every Sunday, please text 240-398-6946. That is 
398-6946 by Thursday of every week and leave your name and contact information. Finally, counseling by our Father in the Lord is available by appointment. Please fill out the form on the workers' forum to schedule an appointment. If you want us to pray with you concerning anything, please call or text the hotline. The prayer line number is 240-374-2183, and we are available 24 hours. You can also drop your prayer request in the prayer box here on the altar, and testimonies will surely follow in Jesus' name. If there are any other announcements, they will be communicated to us by the end of the service. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you, and please enjoy the rest of the service. Praise the Lord. It's time for our building offering. Let's open our Bible to the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 24 to 25. I read, There is one who scatters, yet increases more. And there is one who we told more than is right, but it leads to poverty. That will not be our portion. The generous soul will be made rich. Hallelujah. And he who waters will also be watered himself. Hallelujah. It's time for our building offering. Technica, can you help me with, um, okay, you can give through a cash app, you can give using the envelope, you can test your offering to 240-398-6946. The Almighty God, we water us even as we water his sanctuary in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we just want to appreciate you for the opportunity to give. You say we should give and it shall be given unto us, good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. We pray, King of glory, Father, that even as we give this morning, you will accept us and accept our offering in the mighty name of Jesus. You will build everything that concerns us in Jesus' name. Father, King of glory, you will build our lives, you will build our children, you will build everything, Father, about us in the mighty name of Jesus. Your name and your name alone will be exalted in Jesus' name. You will deliver us, O Lord God Almighty, Father, from death in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you will grant us everything we needed, Father, to overcome foundation capital in the mighty name of Jesus. Your name and your name alone will be exalted in Jesus' name. And no man will share your glory with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
church is at war. If you don't know that you're at war, you might end up a casualty when you walk around casually. Believers are under attack. The church is under attack. Anytime we call for a gathering, for prayer, please gather for prayer. I know what I'm talking about. I know what God is showing me. Please listen, everybody. Listen. Everybody listen. This is not the time to be casual. Our greatest weapon is to pray, to gather to pray. There's a difference between individual prayer and corporate prayer. There's a horn that scatters that does not want us to gather. There's a horn that scatters that will cause division and give you excuses not to gather when we are gathering. Anytime I'm speaking as a prophet concerning this local assembly. If they say, let us gather for prayer, please let us gather for prayer. If they say, let us gather for prayer, let us gather for prayer. The Lord wants to reward. He wants to reward those who are faithful, who gather when they say, gather. I was driving to church and the Lord would take that. Just look at the list of those who, who gather to pray for the service. He just, my face was just fixated on the list of people who gather. And he says he wants to reward. But people are not faithful. He is a rewarder of those who are faithful. When we say the whole church, I want to beg you. Come and pray before the service. Come and pray for the Holy Ghost service. Come anytime they say gather. That thing that is keeping you away, that excuse you're giving not to gather, nothing will cause you to begin to beg that people should gather to pray for you in Jesus' name. Please, the Lord has been showing me things. He wants to reward but people are unfaithful. They come to church late. I'm going to pray for those who came this morning to pray. The Lord has been speaking. There's a book of remembrance. When we say God, look at Israel. The commander said, meet, everybody should gather at the border because Israel is under attack. Will you give excuse not to gather? When the Lord wants to reward you have to fight for your family, fight for your children. Listen to me. On Wednesday, Pastor Bayo emailed me and said um, one of the fathers in the faith lost his son, Pastor Agbeja, the CSC pastor. That was on Wednesday. And I found out that um, I now went to the house on Thursday. I was so sad. Things that happened, I was so sad. Yearly, they go for uh, uh, family uh, holidays. And this year, they chose to go to uh, Dubai. And uh, while on the plane, his second son um, told his parents that he didn't feel right. Something was happening. So the father told him to walk around Walk, uh, walk around the plane. And they got to the hotel. They landed, got to the hotel in Dubai. And um, the boy collapsed and died. He collapsed and died. So 
So I went to the house on Thursday to console her. Yesterday, yesterday, I was called. And I was told that Pastor Bayer lost his daughter. Please, let us not joke about our Christian work. We have to cry for mercy. We have to cry for, I don't know what is happening. We hear these things. We have to cry. The faith of believers is, people are saying, is there no God again? We have to cry for mercy. We have to cry for mercy. This is the time to serve. This is the time to pray. It's time to be faithful. Don't joke. God, somebody said God is not joking again. Let us ask God for mercy. I don't know what is happening, but God has kept us. He'll continue to keep us. If you're serving God, serve God faithfully. Make sure you make heaven with all your excuses. All the excuses you're given. This one did this. This one did that. Make sure. <laughs> when I heard it yesterday, I start to cry for mercy. I start to cry for mercy. We'll rise up and cry for mercy. Uh, we'll cry for mercy. If God says, gather, gather. I'll pray for all those who, all those who, as I was led, all those who came, who, who came to pray this morning. Please just, can you, can you play that song? He looked beyond me or, you know, just, just all those, all those who gather to pray. Ushers, ushers, please don't come late for service again. should gather to pray. Satan is busy. Please, never give an excuse why you should not gather when they say gather. Come and pray. We live in perilous times. Lift up your hands. cry for mercy. Father, you called me. Oh God. You called me, oh God. I didn't call myself. In spite of my weaknesses, you called me, oh God. In spite of my frailties, oh God. I did not call myself. You sent me, oh God. I ask so Lord for mercy. We have sinned against you, oh God. <laughs> we have sinned. I have sinned against you. I thank you for the privilege to stand here before your people. You've kept me. You've kept my family. You've kept my children. On the highways, on the byways, you've kept us, oh God. You've not allowed us to mourn, oh God. It is a privilege. It's a privilege to be called your own. Lord, I don't take my salvation for granted. If the devil had his way, I'll not be here. You are a rewarder, oh God. You said you will come quickly with your book of remembrance. I ask, oh Lord, that reward those who are faithful. Faithful in service. Faithful in gathering when we say we should gather. Faithful in tithing, faithful in your keeping, oh God. I ask the Lord, your sons and daughters who are standing at the altar, who gather to pray, begin to reward them. Lift up your hands. Let this be a proof that you've. Just receive now. Receive now. Yes. 
call the angels now to begin to give this. Let this be a proof that you called me, oh God. Yes, yes, yes. Give it to them. Receive, receive effortlessly. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it comes. Yes, take it. Take it, yes. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, yes. Oh, yes. Give them answer their prayers. Because you serve God without conditions. Yes. Because you gather when we say gather. Yes, Lord. Yes, give it to them. That which you're asking for. God blesses you unconditionally. 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 Unconditionally, unconditionally, because you did not give God condition, because ah, hey, because you didn't give God condition, because you serve God without condition. Yes, ah, in spite of, in spite of Abaya, 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 Ebo Sene, because you serve God without condition. Yes, ah, because you refuse to cease. Oh my God. The rewarder is here to reward. Look past my sin, my evil and shame, and put your love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Saints of God. God only rewards faithfulness. Those who serve God without condition, He blesses them without condition. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. You are blessed in Jesus' name. And all those who gather who are faithful, this is the season for your reward. God is not looking for those who sit on the bench and complain and criticize. He's looking for those who He can count on to be at their duty post. May God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The Holy Ghost service um, is going to be next Friday. Friday morning at 7 a.m. I, I usually come here to pray. If you, if, I, I encourage you to come and pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Pray for the church. And God will bless you as you do in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Last week, Sunday, um, it was so powerful. Uh, people called me uh, and told me what was happening as we were watching online. A lady said that she, she had her phone on and the fire of God invaded her, her house. Her hand was so hot that she had to drop the phone. That it was her I was talking about when I said somebody's placing a demand on the anointing. And um, many people uh, talk about what God was doing. You see, if you connect, it's not about proximity. Bishop uh, um, Oyerubo said, it's not about your proximity, but about your connectivity. You can, you can be close to the anointing and not receive. But when you are connected to the anointing and the anointed, it is connectivity. Bishop Oyerubo said that he... He, he was in altar and tapped into the anointing of Kenneth Hagin. Connectivity. While many people were around him and did not receive, you connect to the anointing and you, you will glean from the anointing. I want to call uh, Sister, Mich uh, Sister Courtney. Sister Courtney. Yeah, she's, she's, she's going to share and talk briefly. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for her. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So, um, last Sunday was was powerful. Um, as you, most of you all know, I've 
been at Live Love Life for years, but we left and we came back and, you know, experiencing, we can kind of get um, comfortable with the spirit, right? Especially being here with pastor always flowing in the spirit that um, sometimes our expectation can dwindle a bit, right? And um, last Sunday I didn't come because I, you know, had things, but I said, no, I'm going to tune in. And I said, you know what, Lord, I'm bringing my expectation, even though I'm online, even though I'm tending to my kids. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I feel loud up here, the speaker, sorry. But I was saying that um, I'm going to bring my expectation, even though I'm home, right, and taking care of my children. So like Pastor said, I, I tapped in, I tapped in. And I was ready to receive all that the Lord had for me in that moment. So as worship began, um, I looked and I, I, I was in awe. I'm like, wow, Lord, like your spirit is really moving. And I thought that uh, Brother Mike was going to come up and grab the mic, but he, he didn't. And once Brother Io continued to worship, I really pressed in. I said, Lord... I, I want to experience you in this house. So when Pastor grabbed the mic, my kids immediately sat down. And the presence of God filled our home, filled our living room. I mean, it was beyond powerful. I began to weep. I began to just, the Lord started downloading and was speaking things. So um, one of the things he shared was regarding Pastor. And... He said, but the first thing he said, he said was that, the Holy Spirit said, was that so many people, when we come to the house of, well, before I say that, a lot of times in the natural, we eat according to our desire, right? If we're desiring a certain type of food, that's what we eat. If we're desiring to drink a particular drink, that's what we go for. But in the kingdom of God, it's completely different when we come into his home, right? When we come into his presence. So he said, when we come into the presence of God, we need to eat according to how he's serving, according to what he's preparing for us. And he said, one of the things with pastor, when we all gather in this season, in this time, pastor is an anointed man of God, and he carries multiple facets, right? But in this particular time, especially Sunday, what we, he was having us tap into, I'll share that a bit, but he said, when we come in, we come in with the I'm coming to see pastor. I'm coming to see a teacher. I'm coming to um, see a prophet. He said, no, pastor's a father. He said, he's a father. He said, and I don't share this aspect of myself with many. We don't see the fatherhood being deposit on many men of God or mothers as well, because mama, right? But we don't see that aspect of God on many people right, and men of God in the faith. So he said as he's sharing, as he has gifted him, just like Abraham, right, with the gift of father, making many nations. So I'm like, Lord, there's a response here. And I'm like, how, how do we know you as a father? That obviously you're doing something where you want us to experience you as our father and know you as a father. So you're calling us to get into position of sons, right? that we have to be in a position of a son. And I'm like, we, in this time where we're in, it's great to hear the word of God. It's beautiful to receive prophetic, right, words and all these things, but what carries you? What carries us on the day-to-day -day from Sunday where we're not feeling like we're striving or try to perform? It's the understanding of knowing that we're sons. A father gives identity and protection, right? A father gives direction, right? And we see that, and, uh, and as sons, we're called to be dependent, right? And through life, unfortunately, a lot of us have walked around or have father wounds, right? And that doesn't, and with that father wound, we are not able to tap into the dependency and the fatherhood that God, or the sonship that the God, God is calling us to be under. So how does the Lord heal wounds, right? Yes, sometimes it comes through a measure of deliverance, right? We deliver, we get up, right? Which is ultimately an orphan spirit. 
We, you get up, you deliver, now what? What do I do? We begin to, you, when we see this, we begin, pe- we see how we can strive and, and strive to perform. If I, if I pray more, if I do this more, if I get this more, or if I do this, no, we have to know that God has called us and that we're already in him. And I'm gonna read John, the book of um, John really quick. John 1, verse 10, and it says, he was in the world and the world was made through him and the world did not know him. <laughs> Speaking of Jesus, he came to his own and his own did not receive him. Verse 12, but as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God to those who believe in his name. So how how do we enter into this sonship? God is so good because he just doesn't command us to do something without already giving us the instructions in the right way. That's why he's truth and just, right? That's why he's a faithful father, because he teaches us all things. And how did he show us? Through Jesus, right? Through Christ. Follow, this is my son. Even Jesus, God, God, very much God, very much human, he he submits himself unto the Father. He acknowledges the Father in all things. We see that in the word over and over again. I must be about my Father's business. The disciples are asking, how do I pray? This is how you pray. Our Father, hallowed be thy name. He's showing us the way unto the Father. I must go off and pray, right? I have to be with my Father. The the will of God be done. Who's perfect? Don't call me good. No one's good but the Father. And through this Through Jesus, he's inviting us to enter into this place of sonship, of sonship. And again, life is life is a lot. Life can be a a lot for many of us in many different ways. Right. But God will use things that are in the natural. Right. (laughs) How to help Holy Spirit. Help me say this. He will use things that are in the natural and people around us to show how much more or what he's going to do in the spirit, right? Because the spirit is more alive than this flesh, right? We're literally in eternity, right? So with that being said, he will use people in our lives to understand how to be sons. A lot of us can't tap into what God has or develop that level of dependency or identity, we're confused. Okay, first is this career, then it's this career. A double-minded mind, right? A double-minded man is confused in all his ways, right? Because we don't understand, we we have not positioned ourselves to learn how to be sons first. So God will bring people, right? Pastor, as a father, Because if we grew up and we didn't have a father speaking into our life or encouraging us, giving that word, a wound can be developed. So he will bring great men, women in our lives to create sons, to give us identity, to speak the things of the spirit over us, right? To give us purpose, to help us, to point us to Christ. The, one of the greatest things um, with the man of God that's pointing us to Christ, to God, teaching us how to worship teaching us how to tap in to the presence, that we come before God like a child, that we come before God like a child to help us through him, to help us, to show us how to access that, that part of God, that attribute of him, being Abba Father, the creator, the sustainer. How do we get into that place, right? And as the Lord began, because these type of wounds cannot be cast out. They literally have to be healed by God, right? So what I want to just say is, in short, because I don't, I don't want to speak before the Spirit, and I, and I want to just make sure that I'm communicating exactly what the Lord is saying. That in this time, in this time, it's going <laughs> to, where we are, and even with Pastor saying being late, I, I confess myself, confess your sin before your sins. I was late today, and I, and I can have so many excuses, but in this time, we are going to have to 
position ourselves greater beyond what we thought. The things of old are, are no more. The way we used to do things are no more. And we even see in the world how people are searching for this, this thing called normalcy again, right? That they're searching for that. But God is calling us specifically in this season to depend on him like no other. And when you begin to depend on a father, you become childlike. And how we can't be, even if you're grown, you're still a child to your parents. So when we begin to stand tall and mighty on what we think we know, and we're not allowing the father, the potter, to mold our hearts, to mold our understanding, to get us in a place where we are actually submitted unto him doing his will, that we're actually crying and coming to him before, like children before him. And we're taking on the responsibility of sons as he does the greatest work, right? As we look to Jesus in all things through the word, that is the only way that we're going to be able to obtain and eat according to what he's serving, that we'll have proper table manners, that we will begin to not just chew, but begin to regurgitate, eat and swallow and digest in our spirit so that places in our soul begin to be healed, that we aren't looking to the world to define us, whether it's salary or career or our, you know, um, family, the positions, whether we're married or you have children, whatever, that none of these things can define, define us that we really say when we say it, I know who I am as we sing it, right? That this is no longer lip service, right? That we really posture ourselves before the Lord. And ever since last Sunday really shifted something in, our, in, in my husband and in our house, I couldn't, I couldn't even begin to say a lot. And I was just weeping before my husband. I even called pastor. I, was, I repented as well. Brother Ayo, when he called that the spirit said repentance, I heard the same thing. Repentance on the house of God, on our father's house. That we don't disrespect it in the ways of how we're moving and walking, coming in and out. That we, we show honor to the, to the man of God that God has chosen. He's chosen him. He called them. So how do we come along with God to show our sonship and get in posture and position? It's by doing what he called us to do, what Jesus did, that level of dependency, that true sonship, that true worship, that honesty, not trying to stand strong. And I even was talking to God. I said, Lord, this, this weight I was feeling in the spirit, I'm like... <laughs> I don't even want to dress up for church because I feel like when we, when, when we're like, I think about when I go to my parents' house, my father's house, my mother, I want to, I, I want to be comfortable. You know, I, I, it's a place of relax. If you're calling me to do something, to serve, to clean in my house, whatever, that we come in a posture ready because sometimes, you know, unknowingly when we put on garments we're restricted and I feel and I don't like that restriction when we come into you know our father's house spiritually and our parents right we don't want to be restricted if the Lord is calling us to bow before him but we're worried about our clothes or our suits this is the conversation I'm having with the Holy Spirit and I'm saying well Lord like he said he said it's okay because if we're warring you do what you have to do, but don't let the garments just restrict you. But, I, but he understood. If we're praying, this is what we have to do. You know, we have to get our minds to understand and to get in posture with God. It's no longer lip service. No longer lip service. The time has drawn near. I wanted to make sure that I wrote down, here, here he is, here it is, here. Um, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. He said one thing. Um, I want to read one more scripture through Isaiah. Yeah, here it is right here. It's, um, and I mentioned this when I spoke. Isaiah 64, 8. But now, O Lord, you are our father. We are the clay, and you are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. I'll read it one more time. But now, our Father, you, I'm sorry, but now, our Lord, you are the Father, and we are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Jesus. 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 Lord, I, um, <laughs> I just thank God. I just thank God that even he mentioned, the Holy Spirit mentioned to me that last sat Sunday, he said, don't focus on numbers, that this isn't a numbers game where we are, that it's not <laughs> with few. Actually, what he said exactly, let me go to it. He said, with few, he can do mighty and many I'm like, with few, you can do mighty and many. What is the reference, the correlation between few and many? But we have to see it. We have to believe it. We have to partner with pastor as he leads us, as the Lord speaks to him, as the Lord teaches him things, as he wars, right, with that father. I mean, he, he shared last, a couple weeks ago with the woman who was pregnant, right? With the woman who was pregnant and always asked for prayer. We all call, ask for prayer. I've asked for prayer over, over the years, my husband as well, many of us. That prayer is flowing from a place of fatherhood. That burden, that cry out for his people. The same way the Lord our father saw, saw, he said he looked upon us and saw us that we were sheep without a shepherd and he had compassion upon his own. That doesn't come from a place of a friend. That comes from the heart of a father to desire to see his own in their fullness. In his fullness that even he sent his son so that we may be children and sons of God, that we share an inheritance, we have an inheritance, and that we're even seated with him. That's not someone who thinks about us casually or doesn't have a plan or someone who's winging it according to life. So how much more? How much more? What will our response be this henceforth? This fourth. It's not the worship. <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the people. It's not, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. It's not, it's not anything but us. We are a people What we're, do, what we're doing, I'm sorry I'm slow, but I'm just hearing the Holy Spirit. What we're doing and what we're seeing right now is an, an exposure of what may be internal, that we all may be struggling, that the house of God is a hospital. So if we're not able to break in, and one of the examples my actual father gave me was a fist. When we all come together and we make a fist, we're able to make strike and make a good blow, right? But if the thumb is weak, if the pinky is weak or we can't bend it, we can't make that strike and make that blow.
So we have to be prepared. I have nine minutes. We have to posture ourselves to be strong, to say, Lord, rid me any impurities, anything that is not of you, Lord. Lord, I want to know. I don't want to. You gave your life so we don't have to be orphans. I want to walk in sonship. We call you father, 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 and all these beautiful things. But help us know what it means to be sons. Help us know what it means to be before you humble, not in false humility, but in all truth. That we are led by you. That it goes beyond love and trust. That we trust the Father. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, thank you. <laughs> We're matching. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many of you understood what, what she... Um, let me just summarize because I'm going somewhere to preach. Uh, what she said in essence is... Uh, you know, the Bible says, as many as receive them, to them gave power to be sons. It's knowing how to be a son and a daughter. The reason why many people are not blessed is because they are not sons. It's okay to be a servant, but God wants us to be sons and daughters. Sons qualify for an inheritance. Jesus came to adopt us as sons. It's all about sonship. So God, the Father, will always put a set man to present him. So you must receive the set man, his set man, as your father. It's all about fatherhood and sonship. So when the father says, come, you come. When the father says, go, you go. So whatever you do, how you receive God's set man, will affect how some people say I don't fear anybody but God it is a lie so I represent God here so if you don't receive me you, you don't receive God that is how it works so I represent God in Genesis 22 God tells God tells Isaac take your only son Take your only son. Ishmael was a son, right? Right? God tells Abraham, take your only son. How come it was Ishmael, it was Isaac? How would he say only son? Because Ishmael was a servant, not a son. Isaac was the son. He said, take your only son. Ishmael was there. God did not count him. When you don't count in the house of God, God will not count you. He said, take him, go and sacrifice him. Because in the son, there's a seed of multiplication. There are some people who, no matter how you lay hands on them, they cannot multiply. Because they don't have that seed. Is it in the, is in the son? In the son, the son invest. Many pastors invest in servants or members. Invest in sons because sons can only multiply. Sons will follow you up to the mountain even when it doesn't make sense. If he took Ishmael, Isaac said, Father, you said we should go and sacrifice. There's fire, there's wood. Where's the sacrifice? And the father said, God will provide. Ishmael would have said, to hell with you. How can we go to sacrifice with fire? You see. Then when they got to the mountain, the son, Abraham was old. The son was ready to be tied at the altar. Servants will come and go. Sons will be tied at the altar. Because can you imagine Abraham chasing Ishmael? up on, at his age. You see, son is about sonship. So what she said is so true. Teaching people to be sons and daughters. Not a son will not say, I want to do, I want to do it this way. I want, no, 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 no. 
a son will always listen and obey. I pray that this will be a company of sons and daughters. In the name of Jesus, so that you'll be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your hands together for the Lord. Um, please, um, I'll, I'll, call, I'll call Mama to lead the prayer for Pastor Agbeja and Pastor Bayo. Please come and pray. Let us pray for them at this time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This brings serious tears to me. It is not the best of things to see the grave of your children. Most of you were there yesterday. Mothers connect. What did I say? For as many as joined, what did I say? Eh? That was what I was focusing on all throughout yesterday. You were on the line. How many were on the line yesterday? What was I saying yesterday? That we will not see the grave of our children. I'm a mother, it's painful. And I said something, I said you will not labor in vain. Did I say it? At almost 70, to bury a 29-year-old child is painful. Men may say, yes, he's a father, he will have more children. But the woman, I can imagine what mommy Adele Kuno is going through right now. Some of, most of you saw her when she came here to preach. She's almost 72. That will not be your portion, it will not be my portion. Said it when I called my sister. She joined, she always joins from Nigeria. I called her. And she said something. She said, the prayer you led yesterday on mother, let all mother, if you're not a mother, even join her. I know he's a man of prayer. Nobody can explain. We don't know. We cannot talk. We cannot explain for God what has just happened to these two great men of God. Would you say Pastor Bayer is not a prayer man? How many of you know Pastor Bayer Deokunu? Everyone, at least, the wife came here to minister. To lose a 29-year-old girl in her prime, had a good job, had everything. How can you stand to see them put her in the grave? It's a painful thing. It's painful. It's painful. We pray against that every time in this church. And anytime I pray on the prayer line, that will not be a portion. And that would not be my portion. Mother, join. I know he's a man of prayer. She's a woman of prayer. But join when they say call for prayer. All through yesterday, that was what the Lord led me. I stood on that thing for hours. For those of you that joined last night, yesterday morning, Mothers Connect. And even Pastor Agbeja, he is almost, he's, I think he's 70 or 71. His child is 35 in his prime. I believe most of you know the general overseer. Agbeja, just down the road. They're going to bury the child on Tuesday. Went on a, that is prepared vacation. They traveled to Dubai. And the child died. The same day they arrived, the following day, died on the lap of the mother. They, they medicated her to bring her back. We're going to pray. We're going to lift up our voice. Not because of what they have done or what they have not done. But we're going to cry like Pastor said for mercy. I'm a mother. I know how it is. I don't want to experience it. And I don't want you to experience it. Mama, mama. Let all mothers cry. My sister told me yesterday, I said, I told her, she said, even if you have hundreds, she gave the, she gave the uh, Bible passage. When I said, you, you don't even want to give all child away. She said, even if you have hundreds, 
the man that had 100 in the Bible, he ran after the one that was lost. Even that one, no matter how bad that child is, if you have one children, you don't want to give one away to the devil. Do you want to? Talk to me, somebody. That you have five children, one is useless, let that one just be go for the devil. Your children will not balance for the enemy this year. There will not be a balance sheet. The enemy every time wants the blood back if it's not full, he will look for a way to discourage you. You have five children. He will say, Satan, I beg, take this one. Let four remain with me. We're going to pray. We're going to lift up our voice. I know women were emotional. Why won't you be emotional? Did, did the man carry the nine months for you? Hello? Men, women, you know what you have gone through. I know mama and other, they say mama is emo- I'm emotional. It is not easy. It is not easy. If you're easy, give one to the devil now. Just tell him out of three, take one. Because that one is useless. Say, Father, have mercy. Pray in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, oh Lord my God. Have mercy on me. Ah, Baba, whatever I have done. Lord Almighty, have mercy on me, oh Lord, where I have not gone right. Whatever I have done, whatever my children are doing, oh Lord my God. That should not be any reason, oh Lord my God, that the enemy will snatch them. They will not use Lord my cabaret, they keep us in the Rika. He cabaret, they pray, 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 pray. You have one prayer for that one child. You have two prayer for those children. You have three prayer for them, oh Lord. Mazeke Moshon, no Rika, Baba, Baba. He ran the cabaret, send the Rika, Baba, Baba. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The enemy will not use your children to be balanced sheet for this year. There's a balance sheet. If it doesn't get the blood back complete, it begins to go out. You come to church, some of your children are not saved. Some of your children cannot pray like you. And I said yesterday, the arrows fly by day and by night. There are arrows that are flying, they can grip on anybody. And if they don't come for you, they may want to come for your children. You say, God forbid, in the name of Jesus. We shall not bury anyone in this ministry. Father, thank you, Lord my God. I give you praise. We come against, Lord my God, the powers. The powers of death, oh Lord my God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Before I pray for Pastor Benjamin and Pastor Bayon, we're going to lift up our voices. Every appointment of, you know, like you said, where you want to go for interview, do you get appointment? You want to get married, you come for appointment for counseling. Everything, you want to see uh, uh, President Biden, you book an appointment. Everybody has an appointment. Anything you want to do, just an appointment. The Bible even said in Psalm 102 verse 20, every appointment with death, you cast to live by fire. Pray. Every appointment. Every appointment. Pray, pray, pray. I believe a woman that can pray. A mother that can pray. A sister that can pray. A brother that can pray. Cancel every appointment. Every appointment with death. Father, we cancel the Lord. We cancel the Lord. We cancel in this ministry. Of our children, oh Lord, have mercy on them. Have mercy on our children. Have mercy on our children. Have mercy on us. We cancel every appointment with this. Every day they come in contact with arrows. Arrows that fly by day and by night. Arrows are flying every day. The angels are stopping the arrows. Father, we thank you, Lord my God. Red the game, ba 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 ba. Lakaba red the game, ba zende rika ba. Pray, 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 pray for your children. 
Pray for yourself. Pray, 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 pray. Rende ge ba 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 ba. There are arrows that fly by day by night. It will not ever attack our children. It will not come near our grandchildren. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maka ba ba ba. Pray, 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 pray. There is no other way to pray against every spirit, every appointment of death. No way to pray. You have to open your mouth and pray. And cancel every appointment. Every appointment, everything in your name. You will not answer to the call. Your children will not answer to that call. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Mothers, I believe you can do better. Amen? Your children will not answer to the call of death. At this is your prime age when you are just beginning life. Even if you are 70, even if you are 80 here and you are still strong, you can still live. You will not answer to the call of death. Pray in the name of Jesus. I will not answer to the call of death now. Hey, I cancel it. Pray, pray, pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The young man there, the one beside the one, come. Tolly, come. Praise the Lord. Death hovered around him. But thank God he did not answer to the call of death. Turn around, let them see you. This man saw two young men. One of them, they did his uh, home going. What, what, what did they call it? Home, home service, the boy that died the same day. They did his home going. No, service of songs on Friday. When I came here, I asked, ah, what are they doing? They said the boy that died. When and all that, they had an accident with him. Two people died, but he and all that did not answer to the call of death. Say, Father! I will not answer to the call of death. In the name of Jesus, you can go back. Father, Lord my God, I thank you, Lord. I will not answer, Lord my God. Rendege, pray, 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 pray. I will not answer to the call of death. And my children will not answer. Call them by their names. Call them by their names. Call them by their names. They will grow to a good old age. This is not a psychedelic prayer. Pray, Lord my God, violently. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not answer, Lord my God, to the call of death. Marianda Geba Zende Rika Baba Baba. Rende Geba Zende Rika Baba Baba. Ika Baba 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 Baba. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. This is not an emotional prayer. It's not a Jekuruku prayer. If anybody dies, that is the end. You can never see the person again. The 29 years given, that is over. Amen. So you want to lift up. So it's not a psychedelic prayer. I'm not, you're not praying for me and all that. At least I'm going to be 61 this year. So uh, you have to just pray for yourself and your children and your grandchildren. They will not answer. If any arrow is flying by day, arrow is flying by night, the angels of God will trap it in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the angels of God trap, Lord my God, every arrow. Pray in the name of Jesus. Any arrow thrown at your children, thrown at you, Today, Lord my God, the angels, Lord my God, have been discharged. The angels, Lord my God, have been released to catch them in the mighty name of Jesus. Mazeke boshondo rika ba 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 ba. Mazeke boshondo rika ba 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 ba. Hey, rendege ba 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 ba. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The enemy will not come to you on your unguarded moments. Sometimes we are weak. We are human now. If you come for fasting and prayer, that moment somebody can bring food and say. Maybe I prayed yesterday. That's your unguarded moment. Maybe God still wants you to continue the fast. Still wants you to continue the prayer. So maybe I prayed yesterday. I prayed day before yesterday. Today, well, let me just release myself. He gets people on the unguarded moment. But we're going to lift up our voice. The enemy will not get you on your unguarded moment. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. The enemy, Lord my God, will not come to me in my unguarded moments. Mazeke, pray, pray, pray. Let a mother pray. Let a sister pray. Let a father pray. Let a friend pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will not come to me now, God, at moments when I'm weary, when I have no strength. Pray, 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 pray. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As the fathers in the land, Pastor Agbeja, he's a father in the land, he served God faithfully for all the years that I've known him. Close to almost 30 years. Pastor Baya Adeokunu served the Lord since he came to America, even from Nigeria. We know that's the youngest brother to our general overseer, his wife. She too, she's Adeokunu. We're going to leave them all before the Lord. In the name of Jesus. They have, they, both of them have three, three children, now two. But we're going to leave them up that the Lord will strengthen them. Yeah. You can preach to others, but when it comes to you, what do you say? Hello? You can go and tell somebody, Pele. But what about you? What would you say right now? We're going to leave them before God that God will strengthen them. Call their names. And the two children that are remaining, that God will keep these ones. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, comfort Pastor Bayo, Pastor Agbeja, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Father, Lord my God, this time comfort them. Comfort them, oh Lord my God, you are the comforter. 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 Father, comfort them this hour. Comfort, Lord my God, Pastor Bayo. He's our Father, oh Lord my God. Father, enemy, Lord my God, will not strike again. The enemy will not strike again. Comfort Mrs. Margaret Adeokunu. I pray you comfort her this time. In the name of Jesus, this is your job, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, do this work, oh Lord my God, quickly. Comfort Mama Bakaba Mama Beja. Father, we pray, Lord my God. We pray you comfort Mommy Adeokunu. You comfort Lord my God, Mama Agbeja. Comfort them, oh Lord my God. This is too painful. It is too painful. It is not in the later years of their years. Father, we ask, oh Lord my God. We ask, Lord my God, we shut the grave of the enemy. We shut the grave, Lord my God, of death. Over the other children, they will be mighty in the land, oh Lord my God. Randy came of send the recover. He came of send the recover. My Randy came of send Father, come for them, oh Lord. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. The two remaining children for Pastor Bayo, two boys. That's the only girl. She's gone to her father. And for Agbeja, one boy and one girl remaining. Two. Two of them remaining. They will, be, they will do exploit in the land. <laughs> God will, peradventure they are not serving or they are doing one to the other. You know some children and others, they take God for granted because their parents are pastors. Whatever the enemy and other meant for evil, God is turning it around for good. <laughs> The two remaining children for Pastor Bayo and Pastor Agbeja. God will flip them around to be mighty women and mighty men in the land. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Mazeke Bashende Rika. Hey, Father. Flip, Lord my God, the children. Flip Dami. Flip Dotu. In the mighty name of Jesus. Flip them, oh Lord my God. These are great men that have served you. Hey! Kamashende Rika. Masindi Riyadi Kamama. Daddy, I cry to you with your daughters and your sons, O oh Lord. I cry unto you, Lord, my God. I cry unto you in the name of Jesus. Mazeke Morenege, Baba. It is too painful, Baba. That is why we are crying. It is too painful. Marenege, Baba, Baba. Protect God too. Protect, Lord, my God, Dami. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, keep them, Lord my God. Flip them around to do your work. Flip them, Lord my God, to do your will. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Finally, you're going to shut the grave of the enemy. Point to the, this is where everybody, six feet below me, everybody will go there. But not now. Not when you're 25. Not when you're 30. Not when you're 40. Not when you're 50. Not when you're 60. We have 85 year old men still strong in this church. 85. 90, they are still strong. The covenant of life is in this church. And so, right now, concerning your children, Christmas is coming. 
and so the blood bank is low. They were going to shut every grave. Say, Father, point to the ground. Say, Father, we shut every grave. In the name of Jesus, if you can hit the ground, hit the ground. In the mighty name, every grave, Lord my God, will not be opened. Don't swallow my children. Don't swallow us in the name of Jesus. You will not swallow my children. You will not swallow us, oh Lord my God. Pray, 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 pray. Be violent in the realm of the spirit. Pray, 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 pray. That this earth, Lord my God, will not absorb your children now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I curse, Lord my God, that early death. It will not be a portion. 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 It will not be my portion. It will not be my children's portion. My grandchildren, they will not know early grave. In the name of Jesus, I shut, Lord my God, the grave. I shut the grave alone. Mazeke, ba, 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 ba. I shot the grave. I shot every grave. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, ye earth, earth, you will not swallow them now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we cry unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rendege, ba, 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 ba. Eriandage, ba, zendereke, ba, 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 ba. Rendege, ba, 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 ba. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise and we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's point to where our children are in the Sunday school, downstairs, everywhere. Just point, just use as a point of contact. As they go to school, no gunshot. As they go to school, they will come back alive. In the mighty name of Jesus. When they, whichever of them is sick, we, de we decree divine healing. Say, Father. Let there be divine healing, health, protection over our children. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Point to your children in the classroom right now. Wherever they are, they are in the classroom, they are wherever, if some of them are home. Father, we declare, Lord my God, this hour, in the mighty name of Jesus, all the little children, all the teenagers, we cover them, Lord my God, with your precious blood. We cover them 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 with your precious blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Dick, come. That's, we are going to seal this thing. It's a prophetic act. Give us the declaration. I know it's our time well spent. All right, uh, for, for every prayer that we have, uh, Mama has led us and that we have prayed, I want you to invest every strength in you. We're going to shout 21 thunders, hallelujah. Please don't joke with this, please. Don't say, uh, what are they doing? Please, I want you to invest everything in you. Give yourself space. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah, we just want to thank God again for, for the gift of life. And uh, it's time to give our tithes this morning. And I'm going to read from the book of Proverbs 3, verse 9. Proverbs 3, verse 9. And the Bible says, Honor the Lord with your weight, with the first fruit of all your crops. I just want to quickly say something about what Sister Courtney, you know, spoke about this morning. Sister Courtney spoke about relationship between father and the son. Then she went further to, to explain the responsibility of the father. 
and the responsibility of the son. To me, I have never seen a true son that will not protect the father's investment, the father's property, or a true son that has the original DNA of the father that will allow the enemy to take over the father's property. So I just want to encourage every, everyone this morning. This week is very crucial to the life of this ministry. I just want to encourage everybody, please, in whatever way, just try to assist us this week. The week is so crucial. We, just, we have five days to go, and we need your help. I'm just pleading this morning. Please, help the ministry. And as you do so, the Almighty God will show up for you in Jesus' name. So we have various ways. You can send it through your zeal. You can send your offering, your tithe to 301-691-3800. You can go to the church website. Or you can cash up through this number. Please, we need your help. Um, just bring Frank. Okay? Are we ready to pray this morning? Are we ready to pray? Okay. Father, we just want to thank you again this morning. We want to appreciate you for the gift of life, for the opportunity to see another beautiful and wonderful day. Father, we don't want to take this for granted. Father, we appreciate you. Father, we thank you. Father, we pray this morning that you accept us, you accept our offerings in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that the spirit of multiplication will descend upon our offering in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray this morning that the gate of success shall be opened to every one of us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray this morning that the Almighty God will remove every obstacle to our upliftment in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we have given this morning, every mountain in our life they shall become plain. And every valley, oh Lord, shall be filled this morning. For in Jesus' mighty name Amen. we have prayed. verse 1, the Bible says, I was glad when I was told, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. It is time to welcome those who are worshiping with us for the first time today. If today is your first time of worshiping with us on this mountain, shall you, I mean, can we
we please rise on our feet and let us walk, welcome you in our own special way. Anybody worshiping with us for the first time? coming please even if they are not going to come but please invite someone use your phone use the text messages use the social media your neighbors your colleagues everyone let them come and enjoy God the Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus shall we put our hands together as I invite mama for the closing break this Lord I hope they heard him clearly if this is your first time Worshipping in this local assembly, your first time, come out because I'm seeing some people that maybe I don't know whether they've visited or they visited before. So everybody has been visiting. Ah, praise the Lord. Okay. Um, all the women, please after the service, briefly, amen. Because right here I'm going to Eastern Shore, so briefly let's just come and um, have a short meeting for two minutes. Praise the Lord. How many have been blessed so far? I mean, are going with their blessings. Thank you very much, Sister Courtney. The oil of the Lord will never run dry in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord my God, for these wonderful daughters and sons that have come into your house today. I pray, Lord my God, your mighty hand rest upon them. Amen. Let the spirit of speed come upon them. Amen. Lord my God, we shall not hear any evil concerning this one. As they have entered a new week, Holy Spirit, let the angels of God usher them with blessings. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cover their homes. Para venture, every one of them that have come here to the house of God, they've come to receive deliverance. They've come to hear your word. They will not go back to their home, Lord my God, with evil news. Anything in their home that is waiting for them, Lord my God, to abort their blessings, I cause such in the name of Jesus. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. So we pray long-range prayers. As you go into your home, no one will be able to abort the blessing you've received today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. They will come back, Lord my God, refreshed with great testimonies in this assembly. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we bless and we give you all the praise. Let's rise to our feet as I should share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Surely, his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you all. See you next Sunday. I will well, see you every year. Amen. Women, please, just briefly, briefly come together.